Welcome back. This video is for anyone who has back pain when you're surfing or afterwards. And I'm coming to you with experience having helped hundreds of surfers cure their back pain, prevent it from coming back and my own. And in my case, mine was very bad. In my early 20s, I hurt my back lifting something heavy with improper mechanics and it lingered for years. Um, I was going to the chiropractor sometimes two, three times a week, um, had an inversion table, all anything that I could think of or any advice that I got, I tried and I went through back pain for years. I would get temporary relief at best um, and it went on forever. It got so bad sometimes where I couldn't even get out of bed in the morning. It was in so much pain. I would crawl uh, 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 to my dresser to stand up and to slowly move. And this is in my early 20s still. That was a very scary place to be. I'm 38 now. And I can tell you I've been pain free almost over 10 years. Um, I haven't had a back injury since. Um, I learned all the stuff I'm about to show you. Um, so it's, I'm making this video because I help surfers get and stay in shape. Um, and it just comes up over and over and over with people that um, are interested in the program. So I just want to make sure that it gets out to everyone broadly. So anyone who needs it, who is suffering from back pain, gets the information um, and the proper mechanics to uh, heal their back, but make sure they don't hurt it anymore. So number one. Man, it is posture and flexibility. So modern lifestyle has us crunched up, folded forward, shoulders forward, head forward, tilt of the pelvis. So what we do for everyone when they come into our world is give them stretch testing. So it identifies imbalances and tight spots. And it's meant to identify things that are holding you back in surfing, like paddling and breathing and pop up. But it's really, it just identifies what's wrong with you um, the way your body's working, the way your body is um, structured because of um, improper usage. So the biggest ones for the low back are the three. Forward shoulder, so like this, I had it bad. I first noticed it when um, I, I was skateboarding a long time ago and someone was taking a video of me and I watched the video, I'm like, why am I all crunched up like that? So um, stretching, uh, I won't show all the stretch testing we do here because um, it's really long um, and intricate and it's not, doesn't meet the scope of this, but on YouTube, you can just search in um, posture stretches for forward head, forward shoulder. So opening that up um, will unrestrict a lot of pressure on your low spine, um, but also forward head. So this one, so this is from like on your phone or working at a desk or sitting in your car, driving in traffic, watching TV, all that stuff crunches you forward. So you gotta open that back up or you'll never have a chance of healing your back for the long term. Um, and then, so, uh, Stepping back is the tilt of the pelvis. Like that. Like that. So it's like when you're standing and when you're sitting as well. So that puts tons and tons of pressure um, on your low spine. So coming up with a customized routine for you is very, 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 very important. So stretch testing, remember those three things. Forward head, forward shoulder, tilt of your pelvis. You can find it online very, very easy. All right, so number two is posture continued. But, so even if you have perfect standing posture in your regular life and sitting posture, even if you're great, paddle posture is different. It's even more exaggerated. Your shoulders are more back, your back is hyperextended. So even if you surf every single weekend, multiple times a week, it's still a tiny fraction of your day. So when you get into the water, it's very unnatural. And when you're holding your head and chest high, it's muscles you're not used to all the time, and your back is weak there, it puts pressure on your spine, but then you're also overexerting yourself. So if you get tired fast when you're surfing, and you're in that position, and then you get tired, you start twisting and bending, man, that is really putting a load on your vertebrae, like your spine, not the muscles, the spine. That is a horrible place to be in. So if you don't have the muscles to hold your spine up, and then you start twisting with these compensation lazy muscles, man, that's all going directly into your disc. So that is a no-no. So the way to do this, to fix it, is to practice that at home. Um, so with paddle training, I won't, I won't do a full paddle um, explanation here. I've made tons of videos on paddle strength, so you can find those anywhere. But when you do proper paddle training, we get people to practice with perfect technique. So it's hinging at the hips, head and chest high, and then you paddle, right? But the cool thing about doing it at home is you don't have waves coming at you. You're not forced to overexert yourself and push yourself when you're tired. You only do as many reps as you can keep good form. So you're practicing perfect technique, but not using those twisting compensation muscles and hurting yourself. So you build the muscles that protect you and give you perfect technique 
while you're on land so when you get in the water it's not a shock to your system so you're not exhausted and hurting your spine so one so doing it without a ball is possible if you do it properly but it's a, a little bit better if you use a ball too so if you really really struggle with your paddle posture it is beneficial to do the paddle workouts on the ball like this so it balls up your diaphragm head and chest are high you got the bands and it's like this so again it's exactly like you're paddling, even more, a little more exaggerated. So when you get on your board and you're in the water, it feels normal. You aren't using those compensation muscles. Your technique isn't breaking down. You're not exhausted. Um, and then you won't be putting all that uh, unnecessary strain on your spine. Now the next piece is conscious awareness. So your spine, didn't get into the position it did by doing nothing. It's from years of improper mechanics, slouching on your phone, all that stuff, right? So even if you're doing all the stretching, all the exercises, if you go back to this, you'll never, you'll never get ahead. You'll constantly be doing the damage. Conscious awareness means all day, every day, wherever you go, you gotta be thinking about it. You gotta be posture aware. So head up, chin high, shoulders back, and the tilt of the pelvis. This is the one that was bad for me too. Especially in the morning when I was tired, I'd get up, I'd sit and have coffee. I would always point my, um, my tailbone back. So it would be like rounding in the back. So this tilt of the pelvis. So you sit up, tuck your tailbone inwards like this. And uh, the tilt of your pelvis takes the pressure off your spine. So it's more loaded like it's supposed to be. So it doesn't hurt it. Um, and being exaggerated is great. Um, so I had someone come up to me the other day when I was, I was, because I stand like this, because really I really focus on my posture a lot. Someone's like, why are you holding your shoulder back like that? I'm like, are you doing that on purpose for something? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I do that. I'm doing that on purpose because I'm thinking about my posture. I don't want it uh, to go back to where it was. So that matters a ton. Um, and you, it's muscle memory, right? It's habits. Like it's like you're, you're in your favorite chair, your new routine. You have your settings on your, uh, uh, your, your seat in your car that you like where you're slouched or whatever, right? So it's just breaking a ton of habits. So conscious awareness cannot be overstated the importance of it. Um, and it's a really easy one to miss because there's so many situations in modern lifestyle where it's really easy to forget. So you have to be on top of that or the stretching and the exercise will be for nothing. And this next piece is core strengthening. And this is so important that it still makes me so sad that this isn't common knowledge. And this is really what fixed my back. Um, so your, your back pain comes from not using it properly, right? Um, and I heard a, a funny statement about people taking Tylenol or Advil for uh, headaches. And this the saying went, you don't have headaches because you have a Tylenol deficiency meaning it's not the lack of Tylenol that's causing the headaches, it's something else, so it's not getting to the root cause. And I was using things like inversion tables and this and that, um, and I was thinking to us something about the inversion table, it's like, my back doesn't hurt because I have an anti-gravity deficiency, because I haven't been hanging upside down, it's because I'm not using my spine properly, I'm not protecting it, um, so I'm injuring it in the way I'm using it. So, core function, how to properly protect your spine with your core. It's a test that you should be doing right now with me. So. Very, very simple. Are you flexing the muscles that protect your spine? I've given this to so many people and I don't know anyone who's like, yeah, I knew that. Nobody knows it. I didn't know when I learned it. So this is significant, this will save you. So you get on the back and you flex your muscles here, sucking your belly button in down towards the floor. floor. Push your belly button down towards the floor. And that's the right muscles. The way you can test if you're doing it properly is you lay down on the floor, you take your hand, Place it under your spine, your low back, beneath your belly button. Now, flex your core, but push your belly button down to the floor, so you put pressure on your fingers with your spine, so you feel your spine pressing on your finger. Like that. Now, lift up your legs, and as you lower them, can you keep the pressure downward on your fingers? It's tricky, it's tricky. So. If you can't do that, it means you're lacking the muscles that protect your spine or you just don't know how to activate them. So if you failed that test, you need to strengthen those muscles. Um, so there's one way to do it, the easiest way, and it's called a four point tummy vacuum. So you go on four points, hands and knees, and then on the inhale, your diaphragm drops to the floor because it's inflating. On the exhale, you suck it in 
belly button as high as you can, suck your stomach in and hold it as long as you can. So you hold your belly button sucked up as high as you can, inside you as much as possible, for as long as possible. And you do that for uh, sets, three sets, four sets, as long as you can. And so if you've never done this, you've never used those muscles, that workload in itself will make you super, super sore. And that's the beginning. But the rest of the bit is using those muscles in your regular life. When I was in Hawaii, a lot of years ago, when I was kind of in the worst shape I'd been in, I was surfing. Um, and I don't know, I had fallen off my board or whatever after a wave and I was in the water. So my board's right here and I went to hop up on my board. And by doing that, I threw up my back and ruined the whole rest of the trip because I didn't know how to flex the muscles that protected my spine. So learning this saved me forever. So you have to make it, make it a subconscious reflex. So how do you do that? In training. So to reprogram muscle memory, it takes thousands of reps. The cool thing about our training is with paddle training and stuff, you can get thousands of reps in a few weeks. So you link your breath to your movement. On the inhale, there's an there's inhale part of the workout and an exhale, right? On the exhale, you always flex your core. So each workout we do becomes a core workout. It does two things. Strengthens those muscles that protect your spine, but it makes using them, activating them a subconscious reflex. Now for me, in my day-to-day -day life, when I'm picking up my kids, when I'm holding something little, like putting away dishes in the dishwashing machine, I'm always just like, bah, I'm like rock solid, flexing my core out of pure habit. So it doesn't matter where I am, whether I feel like my back's in danger or not, I'm always protecting um, my spine because it's just become part of who I am now. And that's the only way to prevent you from hurting your back. So if you're gonna heal your back, you don't, you don't have an anti-gravity deficiency. Um, people can have healthy backs without going to the chiropractor twice a week for their whole lives. Um, and the only way to make sure you have a healthy back for life is that you don't keep re-injuring it. And this is what will save you. All right, and that's how I've healed my back pain and hundreds of the people that I work with. Get rid of back pain, but make sure it does not come back. Now, I know it seems like a lot, um, there's a lot of things you have to do and it's true. You have to do a lot of things right for the rest of your life. One thing that's really cool about all the stuff I was describing is pretty much an overview of what we do in my Waterman Elite training program. So what we do is we put it in a structure for you. So we'll do the stretch testing. So you get a customized list of stretches based on your needs. We'll link the breath to the movement, practice properly activating your core over and over so you strengthen the muscles that protect your spine but make it a subconscious reflex we'll practice recorrecting your posture um building endurance so you don't get exhausted and start twisting and using those compensation muscles all that stuff i talked about in a structure all done at home so there's no guessing it takes 20 minutes a day you can be healthy keep surfing for the rest of your life get rid of back pain and all that stuff comes with a great community of people who are just like you and me who've struggled with their fitness everyone comes to me because they're not where they want to be so everyone starts out wanting more and then you can see these people who are way further down the road having great success and it's great for motivation the community side is great for accountability for motivation to get you out of this place of pain and suffering and frustration and get you to a place of um, vitality and health and strength and confidence and performance and all the stuff that you want so really i like to boil it down like when you look at what we're doing it's fitness stuff but really at the core we're a quality of life company so we're helping people keep surfing catch as many ways as possible and living happy strong healthy lives so my goal for you is to have all those things um and make it um not feel like work because it's a passion-based thing um focusing on surfing as the prize having a built-in reward system so you put in a little bit of work you get better surfing man there's nothing more rewarding than that so um, if you can bring the passion, um, we can bring the results. Guarantee that. So if you're interested in this kind of training, all the stuff I'm talking about, put in a structure for you, customized for you with um, the support of me and my team, there's a link in the description. Um, it's a video. Go through that video. It'll explain our complete process, what our program looks like. And also, if you're interested, it'll let you know how you can get involved. <laughs> so I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope this helps you. I hope you're pain free um, for the rest of your life. And if you have any questions, um, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to answer anything you have. So um, thanks a lot for watching this video. I'll talk to you soon.